What's up guys, JR Raymond here and I'm in the paddock of the Bowling Center at the Masters. Today we're gonna do a little surface prep and talk about what the Aberlon pads are really, really good for when we return, stay tuned. <laughs> All right, so one of the biggest tools that bowlers use, especially out on the Pro Tour, is an Aberlon pad. And we have all kinds of different ones, ranging from 180 grit all the way up to 4,000. Uh, and some people even have access to some that are higher, some that are lower, depending on what you're looking for. The big misconception, um, and I think a lot of people really get it confused when we're talking about surface changes, is they think that the more surface you put on it, the more overall shape you're gonna get out of a bowling ball. And that's not always the case. This week is a prime example at the Masters. You see a lot of guys going straighter, playing straighter up the lane, and they actually put, instead of uh, using a longer ball that hooks more, they actually put a lot of surface on it to try to get the ball to slow down. And how that happens is they take something like a 500 grip pad or a 360, and they get the ball to read sooner. The more surface you, ball, you put on a bowling ball, the sooner the ball is going to see the friction and it's going to start to make its motion. That doesn't necessarily mean that it's going to see it sooner and then continue to hook. A lot of the times we're putting big surface on big bowling balls to get it to use up all of its energy early to make the ball look like it's actually going straighter. So it hooks early and goes straighter down lane, which allows us to play straighter angles to the right so we can really get the ball going up the lane and not have to worry about uh, the energy being stored down lane and then boomeranging off the pattern to the left. So the idea, again, is to get the ball to use up its energy sooner so that way we can play straighter with the ball. Now, sometimes you can use Aberlon pads and change surfaces if you're on a big soupy pattern and you want to get the ball to start sooner and continue off it. If there's enough volume and you use a, high, a lower surface like that, you can get the ball to start sooner and continue off of it. But again, it's, it's case by case basis. But the misconception is that you want to use, most people try to play a shorter pattern and they want to use less surface thinking they need it to get further down lane. That is the exact opposite of what you really want to do. You want your ball to actually use up more energy and you want it to hook sooner on a shorter pattern, not later. I know that probably doesn't make a lot of sense because you're thinking, holy cow, my ball's already hooking a bunch. Why would I want my bowling ball to hook that much more? But that's actually what we're trying to do is to get our bowling ball to hook more sooner rather than trying to get the ball to get further down lane and then hooking in the back of the pattern. So the next time you go and practice, go and try to put more surface on the ball to see if it'll allow you to play a little bit straighter and be a little bit more uh, less angle through the front part of the lane on a shorter pattern. And then when you get on a longer pattern, try to use less surface and see if you can't get the ball to have more shape down lane and get through the pins a little bit better than what you have uh, originally. So just go practice, go try these things a little bit, play around with different surfaces. For me, now that I'm going back out on the fresh tonight on C squad at 6.30 p.m. tonight, uh, I'm going to do the exact what I just talked about. I'm going to put more surface on bowling balls. I'm going to try to get my ball to read sooner so that way I can play straighter up the lane um, because my option of moving left, uh, if you watch any of the bowling this week, moving left really isn't a very good option. Some people can make it look okay, but a lot of people really are not making it look very good. So the straighter you can get, the better. So the more surface you can use, the better. Um, and that means you can break them down, and that means they can be better for the people that are actually following you. Not that that's always a good thing. Um, but, uh, yeah, uh, I would say that uh, the straighter the angles, the better tonight. So hopefully you guys are paying attention. Go to flowbowling.com. If you don't already have your account, make sure to get one. Um, pay attention to the scores at bowl.com and at the pba.com. And uh, make sure to go try your surface adjustments and see if you can't make some difference in your shapes of your bowling balls. So uh, until next time, guys, I will see you later. Make sure you subscribe uh, and go over to Turbo Tool and Grips page. Subscribe there as well. If you've got questions about surface changes or anything like that, make sure to hit me up in the comments below or just shoot me an email, whatever you need to do. Okay? So until next time, we'll see you later.